brought to you by the Bendix King KT-74 Transponder. If you're upgrading, it's never been so easy to plan ahead. And by Lightspeed Aviation, whose Zulu.2 sets the standard in the premium headset market. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AirVenture 2013 in Oshkosh. Angle of attack indicators have become a hot market item for safety, and here at AirVenture, Bendix King has introduced its own new model called the KLR-10. Here's Paul Hathaway with a full briefing on this new product. Bendix King launched the KLR-10 at uh, Oshkosh this year. KLR-10 is our lift reserve indicator. Uh, it's a very simple, lightweight, intuitive system, uh, easy to install. It, the system's comprised of a, uh, a, a, an air probe that mounts on an existing inspection port on your wing. It can be placed anywhere between 10 and 90 percent of mean aerodynamic cord, provided it's out of a propeller arc in undisturbed air. The probe is then connected to a uh, interface module, which essentially uh, serializes that differential pressure. The, the heart of the system really, though, is our compact, stylish, glare shield mounted uh, AOA indicator. And essentially, uh, we, uh, there's an optional swivel mount, which allows you to mount it on a curved part of the glare shield. The intent is for it to be in the primary field of view of the pilot. Uh, this is important because uh, you know, loss of control accidents related to AOA mismanagement occur when you're distracted in the pattern looking outside for traffic or looking for a runway environment. So having this on your glare shield in your primary field of view is, uh, is critical. It's so very simple and easy to use. Essentially we're in cruise mode here. The wing will slightly exaggerate uh, the angle of attack for demonstration purposes. But we see here as we get into the pattern our aircraft will start to slow, our angle of attack is increasing, and this would be pretty much the uh, optimum alpha here for an approach. This would be a very stabilized approach. But for instance, if you are distracted, the aircraft starts to get too slow, what will happen is the KLR-10 is, KLR is sensing angle of attack and will give you your first alert. Check AOA. So we have a visual red caution alert and the oral check AOA. The KLR-10 can be connected to um, the audio panel of the aircraft or a speaker. The, if the angle of attack of the aircraft continues to increase, the second alert will be triggered. Caution. Too slow. Now you really do know you have to do something. Uh, the, the, there are three calibration points for the unit, one on the ground at zero airspeed, one at a high alpha, and one at a cruise alpha. And so this final alert will be what you would experience if you're really just about to enter the aerodynamic stall. Too slow, too slow. And the flashing red arrow in your primary field of view is telling you pitch down, push, reduce angle of attack. So Bennix Caution. King is... Too slow. Here we see we're reco AOA. recovering here and we've recovered back to a cruise alpha. Bennix King believes, uh, you know, AOA is a, is a critical safety element in GA. We're uh, very excited to have this new product line. Uh, there's a lot of consensus in the industry and uh, uh, the FAA around AOA as a concept and a product on uh, GA aircraft. And we're just very excited to be here at the show and there's quite a lot of buzz around this product. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about this product, you could visit us, visit us here at the booth at Oshkosh. Uh, alternatively, there's BendixKing.com. There's KnowYourLift.com. And uh, finally, we have a wonderful little app in the iOS uh, app store. It's called KLR10. It's free, and that will tell you everything you need to know about AOA concepts and uh, the KLR10 architecture and functionality. Brought to you by Philips 66 Aviation, the most trusted wings in aviation, and by Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck VFR. See the difference at AirVenture 2013.